In order to investigate heat absorption within different colours, we decided to conduct an experiment that exposes six different colours to sunlight and examine how the temperature changes over time. To examine this change in temperature, we will fill each of the coloured objects with water and measure how the temperature changes. The aim of our experiment is to successfully investigate heat absorption within the colours and to examine how the temperature for each of these colours changes over a period of time. From the research that we've gathered, we believe that the black will absorb the most amount of heat. We also believe that the warmer colours, including red and yellow, will absorb a higher amount of heat compared to the cooler colours, including blue and green. Finally, we believe that the white will absorb the least amount of heat. For the experiment, we will need six coke cans, each painted black, white, red, yellow, green and blue. We will also need six thermometers, a measuring cup, safety glasses and finally a timer. In order to keep the experiment fair, we will ensure that the cans are from the same manufacturer. This will allow us to guarantee that the material of each can is the same. We will also ensure that the initial temperatures of each can are the same when the experiment commences, so that no colours end up getting a head start or a disadvantage. Also, the cans will be put in the exact same environment when exposed to the sun, allowing us to observe a fair test of heat absorption. The independent variable will be the colour of the can. The dependent variable will be the unique change in temperature that results from this change in colour. In order to prevent any misadventure or injury that may result in that experiment, we will ensure that we wear safety glasses whilst painting the cans in order to prevent the toxic fumes from entering our eyes. We will also ensure that the paint is completely dry when carrying out the experiment to prevent it from getting onto our skin. First, we will paint the outside of each can with a different coloured paint. This will leave us with six uniquely coloured cans. Once the paint has dried, we will fill each can with 248 milliliters of water. On a sunny day, we will take the cans outside and expose them to the sun. We will then insert a single thermometer into each can and measure the initial temperatures of the water. Every five minutes we will continue to record the temperatures of each can's water until half an hour has passed by, leaving us with six recordings for each can. The experiment will be repeated two more times for accurate results. From our experiment, we were successfully able to observe heat increases. From the recorded data, we calculated and graphed the average increase in temperature amongst each of the six colours. This allowed us to see which colours had the most rapid increase in heat and which had the least. By the end of the experiment, black had the largest increase in heat, followed by red, yellow, green, blue, and finally white. From this, we were able to confirm our hypothesis. The reason the black can absorb the most amount of heat was because of the fact that black objects absorb all frequencies of light. This results in the largest possible gain in energy compared to all other colours. In conclusion, our experiment ended in investigating heat absorption amongst different colours and then determining which colours absorb heat the best. This was done by laying out coloured cans, filling them with water and measuring how the water temperature changed. From our scientific research and experimentation, we were successfully able to investigate this heat absorption as well as conclude that the colour black will absorb heat the best.